Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In case you are watching for the first time, this is a channel on engineering studies focusing more on electrical science. Please check the description link for more videos. Also, please like, share and subscribe. Do click on bell button uh, to get notified as I upload new videos. I also have another channel related to competitive examination. Then please support it by sharing with your friend. You can find the link in the description box. Welcome to the new playlist on training on technical interview questions. In this playlist, I will be uploading various important interview questions. It will be helpful for those who are really preparing for core companies. This will be helpful for instrumentation, electronics and electrical engineering students. So today we are going to discuss about the battery maintenance and the battery management system. The topic is battery maintenance. So from that particular area, I have enlisted few important questions that can be expected when you attend for a technical interview. Moving on to the discussion. In this particular session, I have enlisted five important questions. Moving on to the discussion. The first question, how do you size the battery? You may be getting the question. You are asked the same questions in the inter interviewer. That is, well, how do you determine the size of the battery? So you can able to uh, mention one simple equations to determine the size of a battery. So battery capacity can be given by the total uh, watt hour per day used by the application. Watt hour means energy and the days of autonomy uh, divided by 0 0.85. That is actually, we can able to say that uh, that factor determines the battery losses and 0 0.6, that means 60 percentage. That decides the depth of discharge. You can call it as DOD, depth of discharge and the nominal battery voltage. It is a multiple of 12, 12 volt. You can say 12 volt, 24, 48, etc. And the days of autonomy, that means the number of days that you need to system, you need the system to operate when there is no power produced by the source, especially solar panel, solar panel or whatever the source may be. So this is a simple equation. Okay, you can apply the same equation for the design and uh, this fundamental equation need to be known by you. Okay. So this is one of the important question and remember the formula total watt hour per day used by the appliances into days of autonomy upon 85 percentage into 60 60 percentage into nominal battery voltage this equation can be used for deciding the battery size or battery capacity this can be used for inverters or whatever the application may be okay so uh, this you are expected to explain if you want you can use some bit of paper and you can able to show and give some example also. Definitely the interviewer will impress. They will get impressed. Okay. Next is how to predict when I need to change a cell. What are the parameters I need to monitor? Suppose you are given with, you are provided with a battery. Interviewer is asking that you are provided with a battery. And how do you uh, say that the, the uh, life of the, how can you predict the life of the battery? Yes, there is a shortcut. And you have to consider the one parameter that is called impedance. You need to measure the impedance by using mega. So mega is a device which is used for measurement of insulation resistance. So you have to calculate the impedance. So impedance is one of the best indicator of battery health. How? See, for a lead acid battery, so most of the applications like automobile, uh, then you can use in solar PV system. Uh, that means there is a thumb rule. In lead acid battery, if you found 20 percentage of increase in impedance, by using mega, then ultimately we can say that the battery capacity has been reduced to 80 percentage. That is one thumb rule. Likewise, one more type of battery that is called a wall regulated lead acid battery. So in VRLA battery, that is also one of the most popular. I, I'll tell you the application thereafter. The 20 percentage of increase in impedance that results, we can say that a 50 percentage decline in the battery life. Okay, almost battery capacity has been reduced to 50 percent. These are the thumb rule. So you have to talk about the impedance, one of the important parameters. Measure the impedance by using a measure and ultimately we can able to predict the life of the battery by measuring the impedance. This you are expected to explain in front of the interviewer. Definitely uh, they will impress. Okay. Moving on to the third question. Do temperature have effect on battery? Yes, of course, temperature has crucial role. The temperature is one of the major factors that, an, that has an important role in the battery performance. 
For example, for higher temperature, if you are maintaining high temperature, suppose you are operating the battery with a high temperature environment, definitely more chemical activity will be undergone in that area. Okay, so it affects the performance parameter. So temperature has uh, definitely a crucial role, especially lead acid battery, if you talk about lead acid battery. Next is, uh, can BRLA batteries be enclosed in a sealed container is it possible so brla battery i already told you that i will be intimating you the applications of brla battery thereafter so the major application of wall regulated lead acid battery is in the area of ups uninterrupted power supply and especially some emergency lab emergency lamp especially in uh, big institutions big organizations and also the emergency lamp that can be used in uh, hydro power station thermal power station etc so in that the vrla battery is essential but it never be closed why what is the reason the reason i will tell you uh, if the batteries are enclosed in a sealed container the thing is the hydrogen and oxygen okay uh, that will be liberated from the battery if it is maintaining in a closed container definitely pressure is getting increased okay once the pressure is getting increased it may lead to a huge explosion so be careful so don't if you uh, you can tell that, uh, sir, it is not possible. Sir or madam, it's not possible to enclose the VRLA battery in a closed container. It is not at all safe because it may exploit. Okay, so this is another important question. Because you may be allotted for working in the battery management system. At that time, you are expected to know the basic fundamentals. So whenever you are started working, definitely you will come to know all the aspects. But as a pressure or as a beginner, you need to know these fundamentals. Definitely, this will help you for the organization also. Uh, then, uh, what is the end life of the battery? How do you predict or how do you determine the end life of the battery? What are the parameters you will consider? So, if a battery cannot be able to hold proper charge or if the battery capacity falls below 80% of its rated capacity, then we consider that's the end of the battery. What are the parameters you need to consider for deciding end of the battery? The parameters are as follows charging and discharging cycle that is very important you have to see the curve also for every battery there will be charge and discharging cycle will be the curve you have to familiar then temperature okay then leakage of the gases or electrolyte the chemical property then corrosion of the plates anode and cathode over discharge rates these are the parameters that will be deciding the life of the battery okay so in this session i have discussed most important uh, parameters most important questions related to the battery maintenance and the battery management system and the remaining part will be discussed in the coming session so those who are planning to apply the jobs especially in inverter based company and a solar based solar maintenance company definitely batteries unavoidable and also we can say that those who are applying for uh, jobs at the hydro power station or thermal power station as an operational maintenance engineer you should know the basics of the battery so in the co coming session i'll be continuing with the remaining questions so if you are having any doubts, you can put up in the comment box. Definitely I will revert. Finally, thank you very much for your cooperation.